What makes Harvard Business School a truly special place is that we have a campus that unto itself is an asset that enables an educational experience that is unparalleled. Uh, there are these amazing buildings. Uh, they can speak of the history of great people who've come here. So when you think about a gift that enables a building at Harvard Business School, it's not just a building. It actually shapes the experience of generations of people who come through the school. I first learned about the Chows 20 years ago. Just these wonderful stories about Dr. Chow and Mrs. Chow and their daughters, Elaine, May, Christine, Grace, and Angela. The role that they've played in the United States, in China, the kind of philanthropy that they've done, it's absolutely remarkable. So my parents have always believed in the transformative power of education. There was this running theme in our family that you educated yourself to become productive members of society so that you had something to contribute back. Well, my parents are very grateful to Harvard University for educating four of their daughters. Harvard is a very special place in our hearts. I think the story of Dr. and Mrs. Chow and their daughters, um, it's just an amazing one. And this is honestly for me a thrill of a lifetime. The Chow family story is just an extraordinary story. Uh, in so many ways, it exemplifies the American dream. You know, my father came from very difficult economic circumstances. He grew up in a farming village of 10 families. I was born in a small village close by to Shanghai. And at the time, China was totally in turmoil. During the Japanese war, my family was forced to move from their hometown to Nanking. My mother had to leave her family home in Anhui province and go to Shanghai. There, she met a promising young man who pledged her his love. I went on the ship. I started as the second officer, and I learned very fast. At the age of 29, I was the youngest captain at that time. In the chaos, of the Chinese Civil War. They each made their separate way to Taiwan. And there, my father looked for her. I learned to be detective because I have to find her. Finally, I did. Winning her heart and that of her parents as well to marry her and start a new life together. I took the uh, highest examination in China. I broke all the records. And China had this examination more than 500 years. So the government gave me the chance to go abroad. Just when he's been made one of the first captains, he comes here to seek opportunities. My mother was then seven months pregnant with their third child, and they didn't really know how long the family would be separated. It's a big challenge, but Mrs. Cho determined very fast. She said, you go. You have potential. I trust you. And it was three long years before my father was able to bring us to America. The only passage that he could afford was aboard a cargo ship. The initial years were very difficult. Our family of five lived in a small one-bedroom apartment. Uh, we didn't understand the language. We had no relatives here. And I attribute a great deal to the courage, the determination, the optimism of my parents. We were in America the land of opportunity. We were surrounded by the love of our parents. Life was good. From those very humble beginnings, just look what they've accomplished. Uh, the father goes on to build one of the great shipping companies in the world. The mother, after she puts all her children through college, herself goes on uh, to earn a degree. The daughters go on to do remarkable things in life. Elaine Chow becomes a member of the president's cabinet. Angela Chow now runs her father's company and has become a great shipping magnet in her own right. Uh, the other sisters go on to have great careers. Four daughters go to Harvard Business School. Uh, the only family that I know that sent four daughters here. My mother sacrificed herself to help her husband realize his dreams and to prepare her daughters for the future. She came from a progressive family who believed in the value of education, regardless of gender. It was very unusual for a young woman to be educated during her times. Her education was interrupted by the war, so that was one of the regrets of her life. Finally, she accomplished a master's in Asian history and literature at the age of 53. 
My mom used to say that it was really, it was such a happy time in her life because it was something that she'd always dreamed about. And she loved that chance to learn again. So the new Ruth Milan Chuj House Center is going to be magnificent. It will transform our campus. The educational experience that hundreds and thousands of students will have at Harvard Business School across generations will occur in this center. My parents' lives are defined by certain values and traits. The love of learning, their enduring love. I mean, they have such a wonderful love story. The contribution back to society and building bridges between East and West, which we hope inspires anybody who walks into the building. Uh, these are big gifts for helping us uh, with a building that would be named after Ruth Mulan Chu Chow. It'll be a beacon for education. It will represent her highest hopes. The fact that this building started, uh, the year that we're celebrating 50 years of women being admitted to Harvard Business School, has a symbolism that is so powerful. Uh, four daughters at Harvard Business School, a building named uh, for a great mother. Uh, what a special gift to have now, uh, a building on our campus that is named for a woman, the first of its kind.